Hi guys, Rob A46 here, working myself back to MotoGP 22 on the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with career mode with Suzuki. We're going to the Circuit of the Americas next. So, that will be five laps. Let's head over to Circuit of the Americas and we go to Portugal after that. Let's do it. Right, Circuit of the Americas time at the back of the grid. Go for a medium front. I might actually go for suggesting a soft rear. Let's go for it. See what happens. Quattro's gone soft, soft. A couple of them gone for a hard rear. Right. Here we go. The Suzuki definitely doesn't get off the line as well as the Ducati did last season. Oh, oh no, oh no. People everywhere then. Oh. Oh no, whoops. Okay. Not quite inside the top 10 just yet. Come in. Yeah, this Suzuki does not feel very quick in a straight line. Oh. Uh -oh. We are up to fifth, though. Move on the beast. Okay. Oh, trying to go around the outside is not going to work at turn one. up the transition there. So run power map in three, we've got slipstream. But yeah they still pull away. Obviously not ideal, but it's what it is. We just got to try and get him elsewhere. We're not close enough to get anyone out of this right hand. Uh, Zarko! 
At the moment on the brakes, I don't know if we're through or if he's on the inside. No, we are through. Oh, didn't mean to go down the first gear then. Okay, we're staying with him just about. He's still pulling away a bit. Oh, oh no, that's not a good thing to happen. Although, it still got us the lead, somehow. We went wide, but we still got the lead. That was unexpected. Someone's just gone down. Oh, that was close then. Nearly got hit by Fabio. Okay, fastest lap of the race, 2026. Oh, no. Our Dezarco moment then. The rear came up in the air. We still lead though. On the penultimate lap. Oh no, too much curve. Should be able to keep our map in one for the remainder of the race, actually. Oh. That was way too slow through there. This has not been a good lap from me since we hit the front. We're on the final lap. Oh, Miller and Quattro and Zarko and oh my, they've all crashed. That's really played into our hands. Miller now, 3.8 behind. Don't know what just happened there. They just all seem to probably lose the front end to turn one.
So a huge amount of people have just crashed out, that's crazy. The good thing is we haven't got a push or anything now. Oh, and Quattro and Gardner have just crashed. Gardner, very high. He's in well inside the top eight then, but I think Quattro crashed and maybe Gardner hit his bike. There we go, we win at Circuit of the Americas. Good. 2021 for Oliveira. But yeah, we will have a look at replay to see what happened at the at the first corner of the final lap. We're now just one point behind Bang Yaira in the championship. 16 behind uh, Ducati now. And, well, 20 behind in the constructors. Right, so this is what happened on the final lap. You're on board with me into turn one. Here comes Miller. Oh, he had a moment, so did Quattro. They're all just losing the front. And we'll probably see more go down as well. Yeah, there goes another one. Wow, okay. So, a lot of crashes there on that final lap. Oh, just having the same moment on the brakes. We saw Zarco have a bit of a moment earlier on in the race where we managed to overtake him because he ended up going wide, but he stayed on. But yeah, they did just all went. Soft tyre actually lasted okay in that race. It wasn't too bad at all. Okay. Portugal will be next. Hopefully that will be okay. But yeah, good win that. And yeah, only one point behind Bang Yaya in the championship. Darren Binder on the podium. I missed that. Yeah, we did have contact with Bang Yaya early on in the race, which did result in him crashing, unfortunately. Okay. On to the next one. Uh, advance. We'll get our new electronics upgrade as well. So everyone can go back on research. Portugal. Six laps. Dry. Good. FP3, 4 and qualifying were all wet, but we're not doing them. Right, Portugal. See what we can do here. Medium, medium. I know that it's the same temperature as um, Kota, but this place really does destroy the tyre, especially the rear. They were away. Oh. Oh, we're off. Oh, sorry, Renz. Just hit my fellow Suzuki rider. We will go into the lead for now. Wide. 
This hasn't been a great opening lap. I know we're leading. But like lap time wise, it's not going to be a great first lap. Alright, we do lead over the line. Alright, we've got one second lead now, but still don't think that's going to last. Another lap done. Rushed in a little bit too much into turn one there. Just crash, not sure who. Come on, we've only got a few laps to go. It's the best I've gone through turn one so far. Nearly lost the front. That was very close to crashing. That's not stopping. This has been a bad lap. We 
can see how bad it's been because my lead is half a second now. We've still got two laps to go. That does not bode well. Miller is closing and he's bringing Alicia Spargo with him. It's gone back up to one second. That first sector is where we really gain a lot of time. No. Okay, did manage to bring it back down, but again, that lost us a lot of time. These last two sectors, we are hemorrhaging time. One more lap to go. Power map in three now. It's just Miller by himself. He's closed through this sector and this is where he's usually stronger. Especially if I go wide like that. Wide again. Come on Suzuki. We are going to win again. There we go. Another win. Yeah, loads of mistakes in that one, though. Loads of moments as well. Darren Binder and Alex Marquez both DNF'd. So we will take over the lead of the championship by 17 points. Just 8 points behind Ducati and the teams. And now we move up to second, 15 points behind Ducati and the constructors. So still all to play for at the moment. And we're still very early on in this season. So it's going well. It is going well. Alright. That's a good job done. We, we were really strong in sector one. But the other sectors we were just losing so much time. So that was not great. But... The amount of time we kind of made up into uh, in sector one, we just about managed to hold on to it um, in the other sectors as well. 
But another win for us with Suzuki. Two on the bounce. See if we can maintain this momentum now. We're definitely not the fastest bike in a straight line, that's for sure. Even on power map in three, we are losing time. Even to the other Suzuki, so we've obviously got a very, very bad engine. But we're still able to win. Okay, so next time we will go to Hareth, but let's look at the standings for the championship. Um, that's just ending breaking. So, Moto3, it is Garcia who leads away. He's got a 10 point lead over Mazia in second. Munoz has moved up two places to third. Mino fourth, and Guevara has dropped two positions down to fifth. Moto2, Ayagura leads away. He's got a 37 point lead already over Bo Ben Snyder. He moves up six positions to second. Arbolino drops one to third. Chanter drops one to fourth. And Fernando uh, is on joint points with Sam Lowe's in fifth and sixth. And the MotoGP, we've got a 17 point lead over Bang Yaya in second. Miller's third. Quattraro fourth. And Alicia Spiro moves up five positions to fifth. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. We'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch, and look after yourself. See you guys next time. See you!